Okay, so the first thing I do when I'm setting up to shoot a pano is I load the Mark II Artist Viewfinder app that you can get on the App Store. It's $34.99 and it is well worth the money. So this is what it looks like. You can see I've got numbers here for lens focal length. There's a 50, there's an 85, and a 100. So for this particular scene, I chose my 50 prime. And inside the viewfinder app, you can set up a virtual sensor to produce a 6 by 17 aspect ratio from your digital sensor using one row of eight images. In this case, the, um, the app shows the borders of the images both left and right. And then on scene, you start from the left to the right or the right to the left, whichever you prefer. But you make sure you start at least where the borders are. All right, so I shot eight files, and here's what they look like. These are raw files, so if I go one at a time, you can definitely see the curvature here. So now I did use a nodal panel head and all that stuff. I'm not going to get into that here. There are a billion videos out there how to do that, but I did use a proper nodal panel head. All right, so looking at this file, you might think there is no way that this is going to flatten out. And if you're using Lightroom, that is probably the case. So uh, I've done this before, but I'm only going to use seven of the images because I know that works best for Lightroom. So simply go, you all know how to do this, but I'll just do it real quick. You go to Photo Merge, Panorama. Now the window comes up, and if you choose Perspective for this particular shot, you go, oh my gosh, this is never going to work. So in Lightroom, you really can't move this around to change the perspective or move the subject around inside of the stitch before you stitch it. So if you choose cylindrical for this particular image, it's probably the best. And that is exactly what I did. So here's what it looks like after cropping and editing. And yeah, it could be okay. You could be done here and just figure a um, little too close, a little curve. I can live with that. But uh, I came across some software a couple years ago that absolutely blew my mind. So now what I do is I go through the whole photo merge process see how Lightroom does. If it does a great job, I stop there. But most of the time, PT GUI, which I'm going to show you here in just a minute, does a much better job. So um, what I do is I copy the settings, which is Control Shift C, and check none just to make sure I don't have any of this other stuff checked. And I just click Basic, and which gets all the basic adjustments. Click on Copy. I go back to my raw files, go in Develop Mode, Control Shift V, and it pastes that exact same setting into the first file. And then you can just click on all the files, click sync, and so on. All right, so then I take those files and export them as 16-bit TIFF files. And this is what those TIFF files look like, fully edited, ready to go. All right, so to go to PT GUI, all you needed in, this is not sponsored. They're not paying me anything. They have no idea I'm making this video. But you just go to ptgui.com. You can download the free trial version and try it out. And for me, I bought the personal license. It's $199. It has been well worth it. Excellent software. All right, so let's go back into Lightroom. And uh, we export the TIFF files into a folder. Then we open ptgui and load the images, which I've already done here. And this, for me, is where ptgui sold me. So you click on Align Images. Just takes a quick second. All right, so this is better than Lightroom, but it's you might be thinking, okay, this is not any good. But there's a couple things that you should notice. So let's expand it so we can get the whole stitch project all in one screen. All right, you might be thinking, well, this ain't much better. But a couple things. First of all, this line right here is straight. The building is straight. But here is where the magic is. So you can rotate. I'm just right-clicking. You can make it level. Um, and then, look at this, you can move the whole stitch around in space to get it to exactly where you want it. All right, so if you remember, I'm shooting a 6 by 17 so let me just center this real quick. And it looks good about right there, but watch this. If I go, if I pull it way down, look at the perspective on that building change. If I go back up, this is about where I shot it. Now, I had to point the lens slightly up, and my digital camera doesn't have rise like my large format gear does, so 
I can correct that right here. I just have to push it up a little bit further until the building gets straight. That looks pretty good right there. Center it. And then from here, all you do is close this and click on Create Panorama. And I'm going to choose TIFF. And then I'm going to go to No Compression, 16 bits. See, No Compression, 16, 16 bits, and click OK. I choose uh, Pro Photo RGB. And then you simply click on Create Panorama, open it in Photoshop, crop it, do whatever you want. And this is the final image right here. So it's just amazing the difference between this image and the original Lightroom. So there's Lightroom, and there's PT GUI. That is absolutely amazing. All right, so there you have it. Thanks for coming along. I'll see you next time.